is it called Turkish, Turkish coffee? coffee? I don't know. Oh. You can call it Serbian coffee. Serbian coffee. So you Turkish are coffee. Serbian? Yes. And your husband too? Yes. Okay. He came yes. here. Um, he, he came yeah. here in 1992. Uh -huh. um, he was a junior in oh. high school. Oh, wonderful. He was a junior in high school and he came, his uncle in Kenosha made him papers, a student visa, and he mm -hmm. came to Kenosha and finished his junior year and his senior year of high school. He graduated in June of 95. My sister was getting divorced in Wisconsin mm -hmm. and it was summer, so I had the summer off of, sc of school. I had finished my first semester. And I came out and, because I graduated high school in um, 94, okay. a year prior, mm -hmm. sorry. So I came out summer of 95 and every other weekend I bartended at a little bar in Silver Lake, Wisconsin. You can mm -hmm. bartend when you're 18. Mm -hmm. um, so I bartended and one weekend, um, it, the bar was called the Marina. It's right on Silver Lake. And this older man and kid boy whatever come in and the boy orders a pepsi and the man ordered a beer and um the man says i was wearing a orthodox cross a mm -hmm. gold cross and the man's like teaches the buddhist my snaika you're going to be my daughter-in-law mm -hmm. i'm like my serbian wasn't up to par at that time mm -hmm. so i'm like okay dude like whatever so they left, they're fishing. Um, the following two weeks, the boy comes back, happens to be my husband now. Mm -hmm. And he sat at the bar and ordered a Pepsi. And I said, well, I, you gotta go sit at a booth mm -hmm. because I don't make money off your Pepsi. Yeah, This is for patrons that drink. Um, the waitress came up and she goes, that kid, he wants your number. I'm like, okay, whatever. I grab a Miller Lite cardboard, mm -hmm. you know, flip it over, write my phone number, like here, whatever. Get him out of here. So we still have that. <laughs> That's cardboard. so cute. I love that. <laughs> and that was the summer of 95. We were married November 5th of 95. Holy smokes. Mm -hmm. We were both 18. Nobody knew we got married. Um, we went to our godparents' house, changed, went to the Kenosha County Courthouse, got married, went back to our godmother's house, Ate a light breakfast, lunch, rechanged. Didn't mention it. No. Nope. At breakfast. No, 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 no. <laughs> Our godparents knew, but no, no. I told my older sister, and she's like, "Whatever." I'm like, "No, I'm serious." And I right. had a gold band. It was forty dollars from Shopco, um, which is you know like a Walmart. Uh huh. <laughs> we had forty dollar gold bands, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, we got married. And then my parents were coming out. And my husband told my dad on the phone, I have something to tell you. My dad's like, what? And he goes, Yellen and I are married. He's like, okay, no problem, no problem, no problem. <laughs> Apparently my mom cried the whole time. Why did you marry a Serbian boy? And blah, 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 blah. But he's like another son to them. Yeah. It's like, God, I've been with you for this long. Ugh. 23 years, I think. 95, yeah. Right? November will be 23 years. We weren't married that long, but we've been together. Oh, God. I'm like, I had to be with you for another 20 years? Yeah, we sure do. But it's good. You know, life is, is good. Um, I was forced into resigning from my practice manager mm -hmm. position. Um, Why? How are our patients going to feel when they see you bald and sick? Oh. And mm -hmm. I'm like, those are my patients. I've right. taken care of them for two years. Yeah. So, you know, everything happens for a reason. I think our time on earth is, um, we know, I mean, when we're born, God knows when we're going to go. Mm -hmm. um, we're not religious people. We go to church Christmas and Easter. My kids go to church camp a couple weeks a year. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever, but I do believe that. But you have faith. Oh, yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. For sure. Yeah, and I mean, you don't, my therapist told me a couple months ago, this is the edge. You're over here. We need you to come back this way. I'm like, 
but I was there mm -hmm. before all of this. Yeah. I'm like, so when my kids come home and say they're hungry, what's for dinner? I don't know. You got fucking 10 fingers and right. figure it out. Make some dinner. You want, you, know, you want ice cream for dinner? Cool, let's go. Let's go get ice cream. As a matter of fact, I was just staring at these popcorn buckets before y'all came. Um, I'm going to make sure I stop at the movie theater and refill it because that's what I'm going to have for dinner. I want movie theater popcorn for dinner. Nice. Mm -hmm. So, which movie theater? Right there, Joliet Mall. We buy those and you go back and the one's four fifty to fill and I don't know what the other one is. Four Three eighty-five. Yeah. Nice. Nothing beats movie theater popcorn. So, yeah, I mean... I say fuck it a lot to a lot of things. I could care less. Um, I took on a job like January, February, and it was so boring. I think I was making 17 bucks an hour to answer a phone when it rang four times a day to tend to these 25 koi fish, this architect business here in Plainfield. Mm -hmm. I took my dog to work because it was so boring. One day I'm like, Ugh. I ate lunch. I went in the woman's locker room, took a 45-minute nap, came back, still nothing to do. I went upstairs to the HR manager. I'm like, you know what? It's not my thing. I'm quitting right now. I'm leaving. He's like, what? I go, this is an overpaid fucking job for to do nothing. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm out. Bye. I the key so do you feel out. like this has changed your general perspective? Absolutely. Absolutely. Little things, fuck it. Yep. Even big things. Right. I mean, my dad's in congestive heart failure. That's yeah. a big thing. That's a big thing. So two years ago, I probably would have been freaking out. Mm-hmm. Mm, right now, I'm, I'm okay. Should I maybe get on an airplane? Yeah, but I'll give it a few days, see what happens. Mm-hmm. But guess what? Our water's boiling. Our water's boiling. So, for our Turkish coffee, Rhonda likes big cups, so I took out the big cups. And we only use raw sugar in the house. Okay. So why do we only use raw sugar in the house? I suppose it's healthier Better for, you. for you. I don't know. I was a Splenda chick. Okay. Do you like sugar in your coffee? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Rhonda? Yeah. However you, However you make it. Okay. So I'm going to put some sugar. She puts the sugar right in the hot water. Right in the boiling hot water. And we're going to let it warm up and just melt down for a second. Okay. Turn to a boil. We're going to get our Turkish coffee. How did you learn how to do this? Mm, godmother. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And probably my husband's aunt, too. And when you go to Serbia, all you do is drink this stuff, shit diarrhea, and lose 30 pounds. Because they drink, like, 12 of these a day. Okay, so I'm making so three cups. Am oh. I going to... That's not me. Am I going to... Uh, am I going to lose two pounds after drinking yeah, one cup? Yeah, Something yeah, like that? Probably. All mm -hmm. right. So I'm going to put in three heaping... Spoons. Because uh -huh. I'm making large cups. Large cups. If it was the littler cups. What does that look like? Uh, the little cup? Yeah. Uh, it's like a shot, it. like a. Yeah, like. What do they call it? It's espresso a, kind yeah, of size. And this mm -hmm. is not. This is. You have to enjoy. Got it. Mm -hmm. The best is having a cup of Turkish coffee with a cigarette. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Well, that's probably the trick. <laughs> No, this takes too long to make after sex. Oh, no. So you wait till it kind of boils and a foam comes up. Okay. And you want to get it off because if it overfills, it says it's meant that you'll have company. You have company. I do have company, so it didn't overfill. So it didn't overfill. I like to take some of the foam on top. Uh-huh. It fills on that one. And just put a Spoon in each cup. Kind of makes a froth on top. Okay. And then you pour it. And I do a little, like a quarter, a quarter, and a quarter, and then I come back and top them off. And some people look at this like, why are you... Where do you get this? Um, we go to uh, some Serbian stores in the city. Uh-huh. Um, but you can get the coffee at Tony's. Oh, um, and I like... Putting a little bit of whipped cream on top. Okay. So it adds a little bit more sweetness to it. Is it like super strong? Yeah, right, because um, you shit your brains and lose yeah, 30 pounds. Prob probably. And then, if well, if we were drinking them out of the littler cups, they come on a saucer plate. Mm -hmm. 
And when you're done drinking, you can turn the cup over mm -hmm. and those grounds come up, down off the cup and you can get people who can read oh, the, grind, the, the grounds of the, grind. the cup. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Like fortune tellers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There's a lady in Ireland that reads fortunes in asparagus. It's weird. She like has the thing of asparagus and she drops it and then she reads the asparagus for people. Um, Navoisha's mom can read the cup. My really? husband's mom can read the cups. Rhonda, do you want um, whipped, whipped cream? cream? I'm good. Would you like whipped cream? I do, yeah. Me too. I love whipped cream. And it just melts inside. Yeah, so man. it's like adding cream to your coffee. I'm with it. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, see, that's the other thing. Everybody, when... Uh, I'll take yours. I'll take Ron's. I'll take Randa's. You know, go in. Cheers to Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to making and thank, TV. And thank you for coffee. Mm -hmm. oh, welcome. Welcome. It's hot. Careful. No, I don't Actually, ours is probably cooler because it has the whipped cream. So I just, I am a wuss about heat. Are you? Mm -hmm. It's not so bad. Oh, and I don't need any more sugar. That's pretty good. It's good. Dang. I, I love this. I always loved coming here for this. I should get you your own stuff. You know that? Seriously. <laughs> I will. I'll get you your own stuff. I've, You've seen me like, make it. It's piece I of I have cake. so many good memories of <laughs> just... Remember the priest coming? You're like, mm -hmm. oh my god, what's happening? Why oh. is there a priest in their house? <laughs> All the Slavas. Oh god. <laughs> why, was, why was the priest in the house? Every year, the priest comes and blesses the house before Easter. To everyone in the church? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many people? Ah. How many people is that? It's a lot. That's a long day for that guy. Yeah, it comes out in the newsletter when he's going to be in Plainfield, Crest Hill, and what church? Um, Saint George in Joliet, mm -hmm. the big monastery that um, we also go to where the kids go to camp is in Libertyville. It's a big one. Yeah. That's where all the priests, a lot of them live, and the priests are pretty cool. You can talk to them in English, finally. Church sucked when I was little, because you never, and it was all old. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm just mm -hmm. like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what he's saying, but I'll right. trust myself, because everybody else is, now I know the message. what he's saying, because uh -huh. he'll do half in English, half in Serbian. Mm-hmm. That's helpful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even just at this funeral, everything was, oh, no. I'm like, really, people? You do? Um, so when you were entirely bald, mm -hmm. you had a henna tattoo. Yes. How, what, what made you decide to do that? Um, I love henna. Mm -hmm. And I saw some pictures um, probably on Pinterest or something. So I reached out to a young lady. She is actually here in Joliet. Mm-hmm. Um, I have her info on Facebook. Anyway, I was going to Arizona. I took my entire family to San Diego for a long weekend. I rented a big old beach house mm -hmm. and invited everybody there. So the kids and I flew to Arizona and then we all drove, but nobody knew where we were going. Mm -hmm. They didn't know the house or anything. We were, I think, three houses from the ocean. Um, but before I went, I'm like, oh, I want to do henna. Mm -hmm. So she came here to my house. And it took her about, sorry, it took her about two hours. I think I paid a hundred bucks and I posted it on Facebook and my mother called my little sister and said, did you see what your sister did? <laughs> and my little sister's like, uh, what'd she do? Did you see what she did to her head? And my sister's like, yeah. Her henna tattoo? What do you mean, henna? <laughs> My mom's 70 something. Uh -huh. My sister's like, Mom, it's like henna, it's ink. It comes off after, you know, a week or so. Oh, I thought she tattooed her head. She didn't like my fucking photo. I'm like, are you, you really thought that I would tattoo that on my head? So, yeah, I got, when I got to Arizona, she saw mm -hmm. that, you know, it's, not and temporary my dad called right. me a gypsy and oh, sure. why you do this and yeah but it was cool yeah uh-huh everyone stopped and asked about it right and mm -hmm. just another milestone yeah you, know, you had to make 
fun and enlighten the situation when you could. Right. So. That's cool. Yeah. My toes were peeling, like my skin would peel and I'd leave like a pile like on a napkin on the table That's for my like, family. Like, it's like Austin Like, what Powers. is this on the napkin? I'm like, oh, I'm my toe peeling. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's my skin coming off. Don't mind me. Yeah, I feel my pain. Were there other things like that? Little things that just like you didn't expect? Mm, I don't know. Maybe it was like the people that reached out. Mm-hmm. Like, really rarely knew you um my one girlfriend who prompted me to get a mammogram back in probably five six years ago it was 35 so seven almost seven years ago um cindy she i went with her to her screening and they told her you're positive for triple negative breast cancer Mm -hmm. and um i remember i went i was her chemo buddy one time for treatment watched her go through treatment um she's now six years out so she's doing awesome Mm -hmm. um but she came around quite a bit i I, she would just come and sit on my couch and just not talk just sit sit there Mm -hmm. and stare at whatever was on tv i have no idea what i was like i was out of it Mm -hmm. she'd just sit there she'd bring me a vanilla shake from mcdonald's the change in you you think if you look forward now do you see like a path for yourself that you didn't have before because of this? Do you have a dream for your future that you didn't have before because of this? Well, I can tell you um, in eight years, I am very adamant about uh, my husband to retire. Mm-hmm. So he'll be 50? Mm-hmm. Um, sell everything we own uh-huh. and move to the north of Spain or the south of France. No shit, where, yeah. in, where in north of Spain? Uh, the, I'm still Googling. Uh-huh. It looks like we can get like a 700 square foot apartment for about 180,000 US dollars. Nice. Just, you know, work at the local apple picking farm stand uh, for a couple bucks a day. Yeah. And just enjoy every day here. Spanish lifestyle is the best lifestyle. I studied in San Sebastian, which is in the north coast. Um, After I finished college, I was there to finish my minor for three months. It's it's amazing. Just amazing. Yeah. So that's a that's a fantastic dream. You know, why? Why? Why make all this money and save all this money? And you can't touch it till you're 67 when I need a couple new hips and a new knee. Right. I don't know if I'm going to be here when I'm 67. Yeah. Seize the day. So, yeah. Carpe diem. You never know. I mean, none of us know. No. I just have an extra tag on me than some people. Mm-hmm. So. Do you feel like it's more of a sense of urgency to... Yes. To yes. enjoy every minute? Yes. Um, yeah, I've got to get it all done now. Mm-hmm. I have... I, I like things planned and structured mm-hmm. and um yeah I don't I do things that I normally wouldn't have done I shop at Nordstrom's and Crate mm-hmm. and Barrel and and you get popcorn for dinner I eat popcorn for dinner I use the nice china who cares you should who cares yeah you know you only have one life and mine sucked for a little bit um but I didn't have it as bad as some people. I know that. I was very fortunate. I, When I went for my biopsy, I told the doctors, I said, do me a favor. I said, uh, pray that it's positive. And they took this white chucks off my face. They want me to see in the monitor. And mm-hmm. the nurse is like, what did you just say? And I go, pray that it's positive. She goes, why would you say that? And I said, just spare my mom and my two sisters and the people around me. Mm-hmm. I'll take one for the team. Yeah. And they said, yeah, people don't say that well it came true so that's all right and I would do it all over again Mm -hmm. you know I have a great support system a great you know husband and family and do it all would I wish it on anybody absolutely not but you'll get through it so it's 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 okay and it's you know people say is the grass greener on the other side I don't know if I'm on the other side but I can say that it's pretty damn green Mm -hmm. I'm having a good time What's your yeah. message to all the ladies and people? Um, you know, don't, never give up hope. Um, dream big. 
Uh, nothing is unattainable. Um, love all around you, you know, be kind, hold that door, say good morning, put a smile on your face, smile to a stranger. Uh, you never know what, what somebody's going through. It's all right. You'll be fine. I, I, I promise you, you'll be all right. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you.